Hi, my name is Mike Allen. I'm a small business market manager for Cisco. Thanks for joining us today. In today's podcast, we're going to talk about the difference between personal speed dial and local speed dial. Both of these speed dials are accessed by pressing the directories button on your phone. Once that is done, you come up with a menu, and you obviously you've got missed calls, received calls, placed calls, local directory. Now I'll explain that one too real quick. Local directory basically means if we hit that and we hit submit, we can actually see all of the phones that are registered on the system, both usernames and extension numbers. But the point of this podcast was going to be to explain the differences between local speed dial and personal speed dial. First, we'll start with local. With local speed dial, once that is selected, you've got an option, and this is pre-programmed by your system administrator, to set up up to 32 speed dial numbers that are accessible from any phone on the system. So basically, it's almost like a system-wide speed dial. Once you choose that, or once that's set up, you can actually see in my demo kit here, I've got quite a few different things. I've got sales, which are local numbers here on the system. 505 is my call blast group. Tech support, meaning 501. That's a peer-style hunt group I've got programmed on my system. Cisco TAC, if you notice in the number, it actually says 9, which means grab an outside line, and then the 1-800 number for TAC. I've got Cisco Small Business TAC, Partner Help Desk, etc. So these, again, are speed dial numbers that you can have up to 32 on a system programmed by your system administrator. And basically how they program that is they make a speed dial dot XML file that lives on the compact flash card of the UC500. Once that is done, again, up to 32 max. Personal speed dials. Personal speed dials are speed dials that are actually set up by the user itself. Okay, welcome back. Some of you might have noticed I had to change phones to show personal speed dial. Reason for this is because on an extension, mobility extension, even if you're signed in, your personal speed dials do not carry with you to the phone. So that is one thing to keep in mind. But we'll get back to the demo. So I'm going to press the directories key one more time. In the directories key, I'm going to scroll down to option six, which is personal speed dial. If you notice there, what personal speed dials are different than local speed dials. Personal speed dials actually are speed dials for the user. So you can have up to 24 personal speed dials per user at any given phone. So again, 32 local speed dials, those are system-wide speed dials, 24 personal speed dials. Now, if you notice, all we'd have to do is then select that entry and hit dial. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to back up one step. I'm going to hit the services key. I'm going to go to my phone apps, which is option number three, and number two for personal speed dial. This is where you can add the personal speed dials to this phone. Now, you can also do it through the web GUI. The system administrator can also do it through uh, CCA, there's plenty of places, lots of, lots, of different where, lots of different places to go to enter your personal speed dials. But, quick and easy one for the user is adding it right through the services key underneath my phone apps. So again, thanks for joining the podcast, and until next time, good selling.